All right, boys, we do have ourselves our first Budget Beast list of the entire College Football 25 video game. Normally, I would like to do it in the first or second day of the game, but we still do not have a database, so it's really, really hard to find fast guys or great cards statistically in this game because there are so many new names I'm learning, so many new players in here. It's a little bit hard without the database, but we found a couple of them. They're all under 50,000 coins, but if you guys enjoy videos like this, I do gameplays on all the new cards. I'll be doing top 10s once we get more cards in the game, and then I'll be doing Budget Beast just like this. So make sure you hit that like, hit the subscribe, and let's just jump right into it. All right, so our first budget beast is going to be the brand new Mason Graham. I'm kind of surprised he only got an 81 overall. I think he's a 95 overall in regs. So him only getting an 81 when there's other current college players that got like 82s, 83s in promo kind of did shock me. But at the end of the day, this card is an amazing D tackle. And you can see at 81 overall, every card is at its minimum right now. But it just depends which card's the best. That is the cheapest you can get an 81. So there you can see that he is flooded, absolutely flooded at that price tag. He is a great card though for his his price tag six foot three 318 pounds he is 75 speed and the best D tackle in the game is 75 speed it's timmy jernigan so this card stacks up well right there 78 excel and then all the major stats are really really nice as well 81 strength 81 block shed, 81 power move i would love to see the finesse move a little bit higher but he is a run stopping D tackle he's gonna be very very good in any sort of I don't know if you're running even three down linemen. I think he's going to be good in the middle right there. This is a card that I know plays amazing in regs. He has a great build in regs too. He's going to be a dog. If you're looking for a budget D tackle, I know it's a boring position to start the video off with, but Mason Graham is a big name and they gave him only an 81. Might as well take advantage of it and buy him now. So he is not in the auction house currently right now, but I saw this card when I was looking through this. Like I said, there is no database like uh, live right now in the game. So I had to go search for cards manually. There were a couple up and you could... He's an 81 overall. He's going to be under 50K regardless. But Lake McCree is a very, very good budget beast tight end. I will say cards under 50K are typically 81 speed. That is like the highest you're going to get. Most of them are 79, uh, 80. If you could find an 81 speed and above tight end right here or skill position, they are really good. He's also six foot four. He has a good weight on him. And all of his route running is above 82, which we love to see. The only thing that does suck... Not much of a run blocker, but a really good pass catching tight end that you could throw in there. And look, he's good in every single stat. Literally every single stat. And he's one of the faster out of the bunch in this price range you're looking at. I know some people, there also is another tight end in this list. A lot of people don't really run two tight end sets, but for the people that do, I think Lake McCree's a good guy. You can even have as a backup. You can have a God squad. So Will Lee is one of the more expensive 81s in the game, but he still fits that budget. And also, if you come over to the catalog, he does go for normally around 43K for his average auction price. But this guy, absolutely a budget beast. He does have a coin card up, so I, I guess I'll click that one so he doesn't sell while we're looking at him. But like I said, 81 speed is considered very, very good for the 50K max buy limit when we look at our... You know, our auctionables are staying in this budget beast tier, I guess you could say. He's six foot three. A six foot three 81 speed corner. He is literally by far the best corner you're gonna find in this budget. There's even a guy a higher overall we have on this list that Will Lee's better than. I think this guy is amazing. He also does have really solid man. I know man's not the crazy. It feels like this game's really solid hybrid-y, but I think being six foot three playing most zones. It's the best you can get for this price range, man. Will Lee's a dog, and that price range is definitely showcasing that. All right, let's get the new card out the way. Benjamin Brommer, sitting around 19K. That is the minimum. They're all going for that price. This guy is another tight end. I told you I was going to include two of them. He is a little bit slower, and he is a little bit worse statistic, but he's a much better run blocker at 74, although 74 is not crazy. The reason why we have him here is because I think you could do some dirty work with him, especially in the end zone, and this is a guy that I have as my backup tight end right now six foot seven you can't teach that you can't teach that abilities can't fix that six foot seven is amazing like i said i do think lake mccree is probably the better option but benjamin Brommer, a dog an absolute dog and it's nice to have height out there and also maybe if you wanted to run both of them and one of them as your run blocking tight end 74 is about as good as you're going to get for this price range, man. He's he's definitely not a bad card, and he's already at his price floor. So, Bud Clark, another guy. He's not in the auction. I don't know why some of them are not, but Bud Clark is another very good budget card. Now, we're moving over to free safety. 81 speed, 6 foot 2. So, you can kind of see what I like in my DBs. I like to have that 81 pl uh, plus speed. Obviously, if you can get it faster, if you can afford a little bit more, try to creep out of it. But six foot two is very, very good on DBs. Some of the best corners in the game right now. I think Will Johnson's the only one that's like really, really tall. And the other guys are sitting around like that normal six foot range. So six foot two is very, very nice. And this guy, I do think might be a little bit better, although he's one inch shorter 
but he's a better DB because I think zone's a little bit more meta and he's 81 zone coverage. So he's a very good card. There's a reason why every time he gets posted, he gets bought, but he does go around that 30K range. He's under 50K and he's one of the best budget cards. If you could snipe him, Make sure you go get a Bud Clark, man. He is a dog and probably the best free safety you can get for that price. So this is where the list gets a little bit controversial. I said 50K and under, but 82 overalls, their minimum is 51 or 50, yeah, 51K, 200. I feel like I have to include some of them, at least the ones that are minned out at the floor, right? This is basically 50K. You're spending 1,000 extra coins. Yo, Keith Brown, though, is like the only guy in this price range, like on the, I think it's like 60K and below that has 82 speed. And if you guys have watched my videos, I am a little bit cheap on my wide receivers right now. Probably my cheapest position. Yo, Keith Brown plays for me right now. He's 82 speed. 5'10 is kind of an L, but all of his route running is above 80. He also has 82 catching. He's been phenomenal for me. He's actually been amazing. He feels like, he kind of looks and feels like Marquise Brown out there if you guys have played Madden. That's kind of what I'm getting. I know the Brown last name. No, I'm not judging off the last name Brown in the number five. He actually like looks and feels like him out there because he's a smaller, faster guy. I think this card's a dog. And if you're looking for a wide receiver, it's probably the best bet. He's the only one we have on this list here today. Other card at that 82. You can see I kind of laid them out at the end of the video or towards the end of the video because I want, I, you know, they're a little bit more on the expensive end. But Maxwell, you can see the promo cards are what you are looking for when it comes to budget beasts. They usually tune these guys up compared to normal 82s. That's why there's not a lot of core cards on this list and we waited a little bit. But Maxwell Harrison, another corner that you could put on the opposite side of Will Lee. He is six foot one, so good height on him. 81 speed. And then he's a really, really good zone corner too. At 82 zone, his player X above 80 as well it, it is a little bit annoying that a lot of the 82 speed and above cards are you know 60k in plus i don't know what it is but the budget beasts are really really hard to find this year or they're not really there it seems like the speed really aligns with overall like 82s are 81s 83s are 82s it's kind of annoying but at the end of the day i think maxwell harrison is a very very good option if you are starting out when you need another corner and you already got Will Lee. Because I think Will Lee's low-key better than him. Our final budget beast is going to be a user. So I kind of covered every position, right? We got two DBs. We gave you a D lineman as well. Actually, we gave you three DBs. Running back and quarterback, there's not really budget beast. You probably should be taking one of your pre-orders there. Or a quarterback there, right? Like Will Howard or something. We gave you a wide receiver, a tight end. I think a user is the final position we're going for. And Martavius French is one of the most popular cards I feel like I go against. I think this is a budget beast that is already well known out there. You're not going to really find too much of good of speed slash height when it comes to the user position under 50k. But Martavius French is 79 speed, 6'3". So he has good height on him. Really solid stats across the board too. 78 block shed, 78 power for the price tag. It's not bad. I think he has solid zone too. 75 zone, 78 man. This is a guy, like I said, I have played against him a lot. My friend that I play squads with, I do play friends with my squad, or I play squads with my friend. He runs defense, and Martavius French is a guy I use literally every single play. I'm telling you, this is a solid card. He's really, really good for his price tag. If you can't afford the top end DBs or, you know, middle linebackers out there in the game. All right, boys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It would definitely help, especially other people looking for more budget bees, if you would comment them down in the below. I mean, literally anything. Anything, it could be under 75K. Just let me know your favorite budget bees. It'll help me for the next video. Help other people in the comments as well. I appreciate y'all, man. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.